Glasgow Caledonian University is celebrating the installation of its new Chancellor, Nobel Laureate Professor Mohamed Yunus. Principal and Vice-Chancellor Pamela Gillies explains the relationship between the university and Professor Yunus and what his role as Chancellor means for GCU. In 2008, we invited uh, Professor Mohamed Yunus to become a Magnuson Fellow and to deliver a lecture to the university. And we invited him because I had first read his book, Banker to the Poor, in 2002, when I was working with a group of sex workers in Calcutta who were trying to actually develop their own little social businesses and create their own microcredit opportunities. They were actually uh, delivering savings together and uh, looking to borrow small loans very much in the way that the Grameen Bank offers. I thought, this is marvellous. This really is lifting the poorest people, um, the most disadvantaged people in the world, the so-called untouchable poor, out of poverty and giving them a chance to take control of their everyday lives. And it was that inspirational publication uh, and the earlier work that I had been engaged in in Calcutta that led me to believe uh, he might just want to come to Scotland, to Glasgow, to the university and give us the Magnuson Fellowship Lecture. So we wrote him a letter, uh, I wrote him a handwritten letter, it was delivered uh, by uh, a Bangladeshi who was working in the university to him personally and he agreed to come and we were amazed. But he came, he's a man of great inspiration, humility, uh, and humanity. He came to the university, he gave a wonderful lecture, and he asked me a wee bit about Glasgow in Scotland. And I told him we had some of the worst inequalities in the developed world uh, of any country. And he was amazed. I told him there were families in which four generations had never worked. And he said, how do you think we can solve this problem, Pamela? And I looked at him and he was smiling at me. And he, and he then said, I think maybe we should be bringing the Grammy Bank to Scotland. So we're working collaboratively and that uh, amazing relationship which developed saw us grow our UNIS Research Centre for Social Business and Health to measure the impact um, of the Grameen Bank on people's lives. When you go out to Bangladesh or you go to uh, Grameen America and you see it working in America, you know, you can actually uh, get a real sense of how it's transformed people's lives. But just having a passion for the bank isn't enough. We need objective measures, really, to be able to prove that we have the evidence that demonstrates this really has a major impact on people's wealth and their health. I simply wrote to him with the support of my court uh, and invited him to consider becoming Chancellor. He would be the first truly overseas Chancellor in the history of Scottish universities. And he responded immediately. He was absolutely delighted. He realised it was a ceremonial role, but of course his uh, He's a world thought leader, he's a Nobel laureate, he's won the Presidential Medal of Freedom in the United States. You know, he's a man of huge uh, impact, actually, a man of action, huge impact in the world. And it was really humbling and such a privilege to hear from him immediately that he would love to provide that ceremonial leadership for our university here in Scotland. Of course, he's a Nobel laureate. You know, that in and of itself. Uh, tells the world a lot that someone of his stature and intellectual ability and integrity as the leader of this university in a chancellor's role tells the, the world that we are, yes, pioneering, dynamic and that we have something to say to the world. So I think it genuinely has changed people's view of the esteem in, in which we are held. But it also signals uh, to the rest of the world that we are not a parochial, we Scottish University. We want our students to get out into the world, to be adventurous and to be creating a, a new world for themselves and others in the whole of the world. So what it is signalling is that we are an international university. We believe in being globally networked. We believe that you can't do anything on your own. The best way to make the biggest impact is to align with others for success. Be good partners collaborate with others and that's the way you produce the biggest impact. What we've been seeking to do in our university as you know is harness all of our intellectual, social and emotional 
uh, capital to have a real impact in the world, you know, in some key areas where we have real strengths. And we believe that with Professor Yunus standing by our side, we will be able to have an even bigger impact than we have had in the past. So it's quite a big impact, you know, to go to Bangladesh and uh, help create educational opportunities in health uh, for the people of that nation. It's a huge thing to bring the Grameen Bank to the UK to facilitate that and to measure its impact, hopefully transforming the inequalities that have plagued us for generations. There must be more things that we can do because we're a university that's dynamic, we have some wonderful ideas, uh, very creative staff and students, and goodness knows what an exciting future we will have together.